friends welcome to another video of zeta axis and today we will discuss the process of formation of tides so let's first understand what is a tide a tide is increase and decrease in the level of oceans or seas here we can see that the ocean level is periodically increasing and then decreasing and this increase and decrease occurs periodically that is it could increase once or twice in a day so this increase and decrease is called tide so what are the forces that cause these tides? So there are two major forces. The first is gravitational force of moon and sun and the centrifugal force of earth moon system and earth sun system. Now before going further let's try to understand why the tidal effect due to sun is less than the tidal effect of moon. We know that both sun and moon they apply a gravitational pull on the earth. They try to pull the water towards them. But the effect of moon's tidal force is 2.5 times the effect of sun's tidal force. And the major reason which we learn in our books is that the sun to earth distance is greater, much greater than the distance between moon and earth. And the gravitational force equation is given by this formula where the distance is in the denominator and it is squared. But even with this formula, the sun's gravitational attraction to earth is actually 177 times the effect of moon's gravitational force on earth. Then why the moon's tidal effect is more than the sun's? Now this is because of the fact that tides are created due to difference in gravity field on both sides of the earth, that is on the opposite sides of the earth. To understand this, let's see this is the gravitational force which is given by this equation. If you plot this equation, the curve will be something like this, where on the x-axis we have distance and here we have the magnitude of gravitational force. Now, if there is Earth over here or there is any other planet over here in this part of the curve, we will see that the difference in the gravitational force on two sides of this planet is significantly different. But if the planet is in this part of the curve, we will see that the difference in gravity on two opposite sides of this earth or the planet is insignificant. So here, for the sun's gravity, the earth is somewhere in this part. And we can see that the difference on the two opposite sides of earth is not that significant. However, for moon's gravity, the earth is somewhere over here. And therefore, the difference in gravity on both sides of the earth is significant for moon. So we can see here that because of sun, the gravitational force or the gravitational pull on earth on both sides is almost equivalent. The difference is not very high. But for moon, which is indicated over here in this white color, we can see that the difference in gravitational field is much significant on the opposite sides of the earth. And that is why the tidal effect of moon is much higher compared to the tidal force or tidal effect of sun. Here we see an earth and moon system and we can see that the surface of oceans which is facing the moon, the water level has increased. There is a tidal bulge over here and similarly there is a second tidal bulge on the side opposite to the moon. So we can see that there is a second tidal bulge over here. In this video we will try to understand why both of these tidal bulges occur. We will first begin to understand why a tidal bulge is seen on the side facing the moon. We know that moon applies a gravitational pull. Here in the red color we can see the gravitational force applied by the moon. It is maximum at this point and it decreases as we move away from the moon. Now normally we would believe that because of this gravitational pull the water level increases. But that is not true. The reason being the gravitational force of earth over here is much stronger. It is in fact thousands of times stronger than the gravitational force of moon over here. And that is why the moon cannot pull the water up. Then how does the water level increases? It is because the gravitational pull of the moon on the sides of the earth as well as in higher latitudes, it is inclined. And because of this inclination, we can divide this gravitational pull of moon into two components. A component which is perpendicular to the surface of earth, a component which is parallel to the surface of the earth. 
this vertical component is cancelled by the gravitational pull of our earth so this does not create any movement of the water you can see over here as well now this horizontal component is not cancelled so because of this horizontal component water from both of these sides as well as from higher latitudes remember this is the center or this is the polar region over here so the earth is rotating at this point so the water from the higher latitudes as well as from the sides will be accumulated towards the point which is facing the moon so it is because of this horizontal component of the moon's gravitational field we see that there is a tidal bulge on the side facing the moon here is the summary of what we just discussed the sun and moon both apply their gravitational pull over earth but ocean waters directly do not rise up due to this gravity but the water is actually piled up water from all the directions are brought to the point which is facing the moon so the water from the higher latitudes as well as from the sides are brought towards the side which is facing the moon and therefore there is a piling up of water and therefore we see that the water level increases it is the horizontal component of moon's gravity which causes the increase in water level now i hope we have understood why there is a tidal bulge on the side of earth facing the moon now let's try to understand why tidal bulge is created on the other side of our earth and to understand that concept we have to understand what is barycenter so barycenter is basically that if there are two objects which are rotating then these two objects will rotate at the center of their mass so we can see that here is one object m1 and here there is another object m2 so they will rotate at the center of their mass and we can see this over here here we can see that there are two objects which are of equal weight and therefore they are rotating at the center of their distance because of their weight the center of mass is also the center of the distance between these two objects but if we see this system which is more equivalent to our sun earth or our earth moon system here the earth is heavier the moon is lighter still the center of mass of the earth moon system is not located at the center of mass of our earth but it is located near the edge of our earth so so far what we are seeing that the earth and moon were rotating in this fashion where the earth was rotating at its own center of mass and the moon was rotating around it is actually wrong it is not factual the real mechanism of rotation is something like this the barycenter is over here and the earth and moon rotate something in this mechanism now because of the rotation of earth and moon system around this barycenter a second centrifugal force is created this centrifugal force is different than the centrifugal force created by the rotation of earth on its own axis and remember the centrifugal force of earth due to its rotation on its own axis has no role in creating tides it is only the centrifugal force created by rotation of earth and moon system around the barycenter that plays a role in creating the tides now because of this rotation we will see that there exists a centrifugal force which is indicated in the yellow color lines now because the barycenter of the earth moon system is over here the centrifugal force will act away from this barycenter so we can understand that over here and over here it is away direction is this so centrifugal force is acting in this direction but why over here the centrifugal force is not acting in this direction the reason is that here there are two different bodies and in two different bodies the centrifugal force which will be acting on one body will be equal throughout that body and that is why we take any point on this earth the centrifugal force will have the same magnitude and same direction and that is why the centrifugal force at all these three points is equal now here we can see that at the center of our earth the gravitational pull of the moon is equivalent to the centrifugal force created by the rotation around the barycenter so this is the equilibrium condition and this is necessary for rotation of moon around the earth now as we move towards the moon we see that the moon's gravitational field will increase the centrifugal force will remain the same and therefore the net force will act in this direction and so we see that the horizontal component of this net force will cause increase in the level of forces 
And similarly, on the other side, we see that the gravitational force of moon will decrease. The centrifugal force will remain constant. And therefore, the difference of these two will create a net force which will raise or pile up the water over here. Again, the horizontal component of this resultant force will cause the water to pile up over here. So we have seen that how the tidal bulge is created on both the sides of the moon. The tidal bulge is actually created by difference of this gravity field and the centrifugal force of earth moon system. Remember it, it is important that it is not the centrifugal force of earth, but it is the centrifugal force of earth and moon system rotating around the barycenter. Now just like the tides were created by the moon, the similar phenomena creates tides for sun. So the earth and sun rotate around the barycenter which is located below the surface of sun, but it is not at the center of sun. So because of this rotation of earth and sun system around the barycenter, there is a centrifugal force which acts away from the barycenter. While there is a gravitational pull of sun on the oceans of our earth that is towards the sun. And we see again that this force is equivalent at the center of our earth and as you move towards this direction, the gravitational pull of sun will increase while the centrifugal force will remain same. So the net force will cause the water to pile up at the equator. And on this side, we will see that the centrifugal force will be greater than the gravitational force of sun. And therefore, the resultant force will cause the water to pile in this direction. Now in normal conditions, both sun and earth apply their forces on the earth and the tides on earth are created under the effect of all these four forces and it acts on both sides of our earth. I hope I was able to explain how these tides are created around our earth. In our next video, we will discuss the properties of tides. That is, what is the duration between two high tides? What are different classification of tides based on their uh, periodicity of the day as well as the alignment of earth, sun and moon. Thank you. If you have liked the video, then please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching the video.